everybody understands the sarcomere, okay? So here's the thing. Let me draw it kind of like so. Let's mix this like a nice, like so, like so, like so, like so. All right. So we have these two eyes, black, and dark black, uh, and they are representative of my Z lines, okay? This is my Z line right here. Coming off of the Z line are my actin molecules, okay? So I'll just make a line like so. See? 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 That's actin coming off of the Z line and found in between the actin molecules is our friend myosin when it comes like so. Like so. I guess I can do it like so. It's a little uneven, but it's all right. It's just for the purpose, it's just for understanding purposes. And there it is. We're done. We're absolutely done with the sarcomere. There's nothing else to it. Okay. There is the Z line, the actin fibers, and the myosin fibers. This is the first thing I need you all to understand. All right. Then you have the I band. You say, what's the I band? Well, the I band looks like the letter I. In that, it only contains the Z line and the actin fibers. You see that? It only contains actin. There's no myosin in there. That's the I band. Looks like the letter I. Only contains Z line and actin fibers. Okay. Then you have the H band. I guess I'll make it green here. H, which only contains myosin. See? So I, uh, I is only Z line with actin. H is only myosin. Okay? So then the question is, well, what about the A band? That's what confuses students, the A band. Say, so, well, A, it, it contains, it's all of this. A, is the entire length of your um, of myosin. A is the entire length of myosin, including actin. So it's myosin plus actin, myosin and actin, OK? Everybody got that? So H band, I band, A band. Clear? Yes, yeah. no? Yeah. All right. Good. What they like to ask is this, as we know, when a muscle contracts, it gets shorter. So this Z line gets closer to this Z line or vice versa. The point is, as they squeeze and get closer to each other, the H band and the I band actually get smaller. So H and I, I, hello, how are you? The H and I band will shrink upon muscle contraction. The H and I band will expand or get bigger upon muscle relaxation. I repeat, H and I band, hi, hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. H and I band, hi, they will get smaller upon muscle contraction. The H and I band, hi, hello, will get wider upon muscle relaxation. And then, this, and then they ask, well, what about the A band? As I mentioned, the A band is the entire length of myosin and it contains actin but it is the entire length of myosin. Does myosin, the actual structure of myosin, does it itself get any longer or any shorter upon muscle contraction? Yes or no? No. No, no it does not. It does not get any longer or shorter. However, the amount of cross links in between my myosin and my actin fibers or the overlap is the buzzword that they'll say, overlap or cross linking will increase as the muscles get smaller. So A band does not change in size, overlap increases. Cross-linking between myosin and actin increases as muscles contract. When the muscle relaxes, act, the A band remains the same size, less overlap, less cross-linking. Everybody got that? 